right. This seems like the current Call of Duty. We are so excited for fans to get their hands on So it's on called the first Sabotage. All right. We've been listening to your feedback and we have so much more to come. We've got four intense maps and a All right, they got four new maps there. One of the great things about DLC I'm not really a fan of the zombie one, but they look like they got a new zombie map. And what things can be improved upon in the Infinite Warfare experience. We get a lot of feedback across social media, forums, yeah. everywhere. Obviously. It's been really cool to see everything from beta up till now, the requests. So you're going to see drastic changes and things you love brought into these new maps. Well, it's about time. First map, Noir. Noir is a dark, grimy... Noir means black in French, uh, and FYI. Spawn under the Brooklyn Bridge, which is kind of gritty. And then the exact right. opposite side of the map, it's a little bit nicer. There's cafes and parks. And then in the middle, it's just a war zone. All right, it looks like a map from MW2. Neon is a virtual training simulator for urban warfare. It's a Z All right, this, looks, this makes me think of Overwatch. Middle, a high B point up but it looks leg, nice. And a close quarters area in a nightclub in the third lane. When you run around cars, oh, that's quite funny. So it's a dynamic uh, environment in the game, which is new. Polygons. Oh, wow. <laughs> very interesting, fun place space that's new. Renaissance. One Sounds like Resistance from MW3. Excited about. It's called Renaissance. It takes oh, place wow. in Venice. It's a very tight quarters, it very looks like fast game. We're back in if you like the snipe, Venice. I love the church lane. You like to run and gun with your shotgun and your SMG. You're Kinda look like uh, Assassin's players. Creed map, and if you're a mobile mid which is quite you're nice. Love taking your assault rifle onto the streets. Dominion. This is the map the we've map all we been waiting for. It's called Dominion, and it's, it's Afghan from MW2. The classic map Afghan. This time it takes place on Mars. Afghan is such a Oh map. wow, I missed this Just map a lot. Fans, but also I'm glad they brought a map from MW2 it has back. A lot of different identifiable landmarks. That Looking forward to a new map from MW3 or. And we knew it was kind of an easy transition over to Infinite Warfare's Theater of War. And players oh can wow, I can wait to the lookout and counter snipers with close range engagements. Damn. <laughs> Zombie mode. Let's have a look. Is a trip back to the so obviously this new map is called is Wraith. Stark contrast from what we did in Zombies in Spaceland. I think players are into it's more dark, surprise. so it's more. We made them really comfortable in Spaceland by opening up lanes, making it bright and colorful. This is All really right. a horror film brought to life in a video. <laughs> so game we've got before. a new it's melee to weapon. People's minds. After getting sucked out of, of Zombies in Spaceland. Uh, our four characters appear in if you guys are, are, are a very uh, fan of the zombie mode, maybe in the 90s now. let me down in the section below know what, uh, what's your highest level you've reached so far. That's been kind of taken over I haven't played the zombie, uh, raver kids that are throwing zombie mode yet. Party, uh, in the of the woods. The level has I'm currently focusing on the multiplayer and the new DLCs and the maps and the guns, etc. But it looks... oh wow, <laughs> looks nice. Look at it, there's really new something for Infinite Warfare. Bears, new fate and fortune cards coming, new traps within the map. Alright, so fans of the Zombie Land or Zombie World is quite. I think you guys are quite so excited to, to see this new map. Wait for people to new features, to new melee weapons, like new characters. People are in for a real treat. All the devs here at Infinity Ward cannot wait for our fans to get their hands yes, on the new Yes, we cannot content. wait as well. <laughs> There's so much going into it. Fans are going to be super excited. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 1 pack will be available January 31st, first on PS4. All right. Stay tuned, because I will be putting out more videos on 31st of January. All right, guys. Peace out.